Hello there and welcome to the channel Sport and Stories. My name is Danny. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, one of the little snippets of goal I've got for you is one of the fantastic Harry Redknapp stories. Uh, he's got so many brilliant ones, but this one I've never, ever heard before. It's about a player he's got, oh, he signed, called Paolo Futre at West Ham. I know nothing about him whatsoever. Something about he refused to wear a shirt. So let's get into it and see what it is all about. But I've got a funny feeling this is going to be a cracker. Transfer deadline has just finished. Um, you must have some good transfer stories. One of my favourite ones was when we signed Paulo Futre. Futre refused to wear the uh, 16 shirt. Why? Well, I, we, it was the first game of the season. He was. This is one of the great footballers of all time. Paulo yeah. Futre, Portuguese international, played for Milan, Atletico. Anyway, he comes to West Ham and... He Apologies, I've been a football fan all my life, well over 35 years. How I've missed Paolo Futre. I think I'm going to have to Google him after this because I have no recollection of him being an all-time great for Portugal, but I digress. It's a great plan. We get to the first game of the season at Arsenal and we go in the dressing room and I take the team sheet in, come back in the dressing room, the kit man, Eddie, you know me, Eddie said, Harry, we've got a problem. Futre, he won't wear number 16, he wants to be number 10. But we had squad numbers, so you couldn't just change them. Can't this change? Someone has got number 10. So suddenly, Futre comes up to me at 10 past two. First game of the season, Ivory, full house, Futre, no 16. Futre, 10. <laughs> Pele, Maradona, Eusebio, 10. <laughs> no effing 16. <laughs> oh, apologies for the language there, but... Come on, you've got to be some. You've got to have some sort of brass neck on you to say, "I want to wear the number ten shirt, the same as Pele, Eusebio, people like Zidane, it's Lionel Messi of today wear number ten. Who who is Paolo Futre? I went. Yeah, I'm sorry, Paolo, but we have squad numbers, and when you came late, so we help Moncur is number ten. We have to give you number sixteen. Full tree, no 16. He throws the West Ham shirt on the floor, treads on it, kicks it up the wall. So I said to him, please, Paolo, in so many words, would you please <coughs> kindly put your shirt back on or leave these premises? Yeah. So he did. He left. He got his gear on, fucked off. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> going to be out here in a minute. Yeah. Frank Lampard senior said to me, well done, Harry. He said, we've only got 10 men now. What are we going to do? I said, don't worry, I'll go in there see the referee and we can use this one of the subs. So I'll go and see the ref. He said, well, you can't change the team without Mr. Wenger's permission. So in comes Arson. Now, you know Arson was a bundle of fun, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arson, 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 Arson comes in. Oh, what is this, tactics? I went, I went, no, Arson, I'm not that clever. I said, what's happened? Frank Lampard's filled the bleeding team sheet and he's put Paulo Futre's name on there. He's not even here. <laughs> he, he was on his way back to the airport to get the plane back to Portugal. <laughs> so he said, oh, well, in the end, he gave in, you know, and he went, yeah, OK, you know. They still beat us 3-0, I think. But, uh... <laughs> Never heard that story before. <clears throat> that was absolutely fantastic. Paulo Futre putting his parts on. I'd have to see if he actually ever did play for West Ham, but yeah, on his debut, throws in a paddy, kicks the shirt up the wall and refuses to play because he's got to wear number 16. I don't know who these football players think they are. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below if there's something you want to see from myself and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget the ding dong bell.